Hi again, Pierre in the garage. Uh, that's the third episode of that uh, fixing the uh, the chuck that goes on the uh, rotary head. Um, some people showed interest in the uh, six jaw chuck that can be adjusted on the on this light. Uh, I'll add a few minutes and I'll uh, show you the whole procedure. If you're uh, let's say you're not interested, you can always skip the few minutes where I. Uh, I won't cut anything, I'll just show in real time how it's done. So that will maybe give you a good idea of uh, how these kind of uh, adjustable chucks work. And uh, let's proceed with the uh, rest of the episode. Now, prior to finish the machining of that uh, bushing that's been press fitted into the, uh, the back plate, I gotta make this surface here like very uh, very straight with the whirl, like uh, this is a 5 tenths per division dial indicator and uh, with a few bumps, you know, irregularities on the on the surface I think we are uh, with, let's say, plus or minus a few tenths some nice feature about this chuck here is the uh, fact that I can use um, these adjustment screws to set it back like a, a little bit like a four jar it's not exactly as uh, simple as a four, as a four jar would be but pretty close and these chucks weighing like about 75 80 pounds or whatever I mean they're heavy okay have to loosen up the uh, loosen up but just kind of snug the nuts yikes outside there okay there are three uh, hex, hex head screws that keeps the uh, chuck on center uh, I mean the uh, hell to the uh, back plate and now starts the uh, Oops, it's hard. Okay. Now the task of uh, bringing this uh, It's a little bit more trouble than a four jaw chuck, but it goes pretty good. Okay, we're not too far. Gotta tight this up now. Hope they stay. Uh, There's probably going to be a little adjustment to do once this is done. Mm, we're within a few tenths, not touching this. And ultimate check here. Okay, load this. Make sure it's stable. So those two needles gotta be uh, kind of pretty steady. Hope you see pretty good. Uh, now I'm ready to machine. I think we're uh, within uh, very reasonable tolerances. And uh, mighty important when you do setups like that and you use uh, parallels like that. You start your late, you're just about half dead. So. Uh, think of taking them out uh, before you do any work this could kill you there we go okay uh, I got about um, 95 97 thousand to take 
I'm not going to take huge cuts. I don't want to unbalance or upset this setup because uh, being hurry in some cases is no problem. But in this case, I mean, I don't, uh, I don't need that. Taking about uh, thirty thousand cut right down to the bottom and feed for the rest take another uh, 30 thousandths now I just want to know if I really match up with my uh, DRO so um, that's important because this is the kind of fit that has to be uh, closely toleranced. I'm within, uh, within about half a thousand for my DRO. Let's go for uh, a little bit more cutting. Okay, I'll be about uh, seven, eight thousandths from a uh, final cut with this one. I'm taking about uh, 30, another three ta 30 thousandths. Now I'm within eight thousandths from the uh, final uh, target. And I'm going to take it one shot plus a few, uh, a few spring cuts. <coughs> I can allow myself to go a little bit under <laughs> until I'm taking off this thing but if I go over it's another bushing, another sleeve oh and I'm not very warm to that idea there we go I guess you'll be able to see this. We're 699.5 about, and that's exactly uh, half a thousand over uh, the goal I was uh, looking for. And with that kind of a fit on a two, uh, you know, like a almost three inches diameter uh, bore, it's an, you know, it's a very, it's a very good, it's an excellent fit. So I'm confident I'm just going to uh, put this up on the, uh, on the head then it's going to fit like uh, just a come some kind of a you know not a slight just a, a snug fit no not, not a snug fit just a like a slip fit all that's left to do now is clean the overstock here okay Gonna match those two surfaces, and I'm going to really go very, very, very easy, like about a few tenths in the bottom to uh, equalize the surface. Since uh, someone did the job on this before. And seeing the job they did on the uh, centering, I don't trust them. Don't feel anything. Just matches good. We'll break the edges on this, clean this up, and I will fit. Hopefully. Last thing to do is just a nice a little clean up on this. I think this looks great. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we think it looks great. Moo ya. Moo ya. Moo ya. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, looks good, looks good.
Okay, now if I dismount this, it better be good because lots of work to put it back. Mm. There we go. Hey, anyone is curious to see how we did? I am. Clean this up. Make sure we uh, clean surfaces. Oops. And uh, let's try this. We're good, no slop, no nothing. Just, I'm happy with this fit. Okay, what I'll be doing now, I'll be uh, cleaning up the chuck, putting uh, the plate back, and we'll check it for run out in a few minutes. As far as the run out from the center to the body, this chuck after just being uh, reinstalled and remachined, uh, I think we're pretty good. We're getting about a uh, thousand or less, which is very good. And uh, let's measure the center uh, run out now. Okay, we got the chuck mounted with a uh, regular, you know, a, a kind of a very straightly round pin. Uh, we set the zero on this, and as we go, we'll try to reach the maximum. Uh, deviation on the uh, indicator and we see that we got a five thousandths uh, you know run out on this uh, we're about uh, three times as better as uh, when we started with the fifteen thousand uh, of an inch uh, run out the, now the cure for this will be grinding the jaws there's uh, not much we can do else than that and even with that that will give us even better results but on these kinds of equipment you can't expect perfection because this is like more like in the lower grade uh, Chinese production and uh, we'll get to, you know as 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 good as we can get but uh, nothing perfect in that uh, area so till next episode or next time we see uh, we see again just uh, have fun thanks <laughs>